Welcome back to Level Construction. In this video, Logan, we'll continue placing decoration static meshes throughout the level. All right, let's focus on this main room now, the first room that has one of the elevators in it. Let's place some machinery around the corners, maybe some boxes in this one corner, and maybe some monitors along this wall. Let's start with the boxes over by the elevator. I'm going to begin by stealing one of the boxes that I placed in the little alcove room and just duplicating it over. So I'll scroll out or zoom out a little bit in the top view. We'll duplicate and drag this over and then find a nice resting place for it. Maybe we'll throw a few by the lift entrance itself. We can duplicate this off to the other side. Give it some a little bit different rotation. And slide it. We'll slide this a little bit closer to the wall. And let's grab some of those other meshes that had more boxes. So let me bring the static mesh browser back up and let's grab the stack of three boxes. Let's add that over into the corner. Let's add that right in front of the other set of boxes. Maybe move it out just a little bit closer to the wall. Maybe give it just a little bit of rotation. Then let's grab, let's see, we'll just grab a few of the different ones. Maybe a stack of uh, two boxes. We'll add those right in front of the first. Give it just a little bit of rotation as well. Maybe in the other direction, maybe something like that. And move it over to the wall just a little bit more close. Maybe something, maybe something like that. And let's grab one last small individual box and drag that out in the front here. Give it some different rotation. Something like that. Maybe space these out a little bit better. Just so we've got kind of a nice clutter of boxes going over in the corner. Maybe slide them closer to the wall just a little bit. There we go. So it kind of makes this look like a uh, cargo lift center. Um, moving on from the boxes, let's take a look at some of the machinery and uh, the tank mesh placed around the uh, the floor of this room. Let's load up the, uh, or go back to the LT Deco package. Scroll closer to the bottom where there should be, let's see if there's a uh, large tank mesh. Maybe it's not an LT Deco, maybe it's actually, let's see. Let's switch over to HU Deco 3. That might be it. Let's yeah, switch looking to for the gas tank 01. Let's scroll up a little bit. What do we have? There's there's some gas tanks. There's gas tank 01. Very good. Let's grab that and place it maybe over in this side of the room. Let's drop one on the floor. And it almost looks like there hasn't been any meshes placed. But that's because the orientation dropped us right inside of it. So <laughs> if we scroll out a little bit, there is our ginormous gas tank. Um, let's scale that in a little bit, maybe down to 0.75. Give it more of a manageable size. And maybe swing it around. Maybe go you know, the other way. Something like that. That way we've got this kind of like spout output thing pointing out on the side that we'll see. And let's slide this into the corner a little bit. Kind of hard to see, but we can just make out these uh, circular areas for the the walls and then the, the glass behind it. So I think sliding it back just far enough so that it doesn't go through the glass would look good. It'll probably come up just a tad too as it looks like it's sitting through some of the static meshes that make up the floor. That's true. Let me jump down here. It's it's kind of halfway in between. If we do that. I kind of like it resting a little bit through. It makes it look like it's really heavy and old starting to sag into the floor a little bit. Okay. So I think that's looking, well, let me drag it out just a little bit, because then we've got another mesh to place over in this corner, so. See, it looks to me like it's actually just crammed down through the floor. I don't oh. know, but it might just be an illusion thing. It's, you can yeah. almost see through it on the bottom. Yeah, that's good. It's, it's, it's about resting on the floor. I think that's good. Um, let's see. Let's add a uh, some kind of steam machinery over to the side on the, uh, the other side. Let me switch over to... Um, the static mesh browser, possibly still in HU Deco 3. Yeah, looking for uh, Machinery 04. There we go, Machinery 04. Let's add one of those to the adjacent wall. Let's drop in. We get another huge overscaled machine, so let's drop that down in size a little bit, maybe 0.75, so that it better fits in the uh, size room we've got. And that's looking good. Let's see. Slide it back a little bit so we get closer to the wall, but not so close that it goes through the wall. Yeah, you're good. 
There we go. And for alignment, slide it this way a little bit. And just far enough so we don't go through the glass. And I think that's looking good. Now let's add a little um, control panel to this corner. Let me jump back in, which is probably still in HU Deco 3. If we scroll down, there should be a control panel looking mesh. There we go. Hydraulic support C. Let's grab that and let's add it into the corner near the static mesh. And it's kind of small, so let's bump its scale up maybe to about 2. And I kind of like how the other side looks. It has all these switches and dials on it. So let me go into a top view and swing that around. And maybe something about like that. So we have it facing into the level. Maybe move it out just a little bit. And to the side. And back a little. There. Yeah, I think that's looking good. And it's, it is kind of floating above the floor, so we'll drop that down a little bit. All right, that's looking good. Um, let's see, what do we have next? We've got the control box, the machine. Let's, um, let's take a look at this wall now. We still have a big, blank, open space on this wall. So let's add in some displays, some monitors to the wall. So let me jump back into the static mesh browser, and let me jump back over to LT Deco. And scroll down, we have a nice set of various types of monitors. I'm going to stick a few of these together to get kind of a nice look, a nice monitor array. I'll start out with uh, monitor 4. And let's stick that to this wall here and add the static mesh. And it's roca rotated at the wrong way. So let's rotate and slide that back in. It's also kind of small for that wall size. So let me take the uh, X. As, let me see, is that X? Maybe Y. Matter of fact, I'm not sure, so let me switch to a local for a second. Alright, it's going to be X and Z. So let's take our X scale to five, 2, our Z scale to 2, and that has a nice, larger looking monitor. It's also way too, up on, too high up on the wall, so let's drag that down a little bit, maybe to about there. And slide it over just a little bit. Center it up on the wall. Alright, let's grab some side panel monitors to throw into it. So I'll grab uh, monitor 3 and we'll add that in right next to it. And then it's rotated the same way so let's swing that around to face into the level and slide that down to match up. Let me grab, let's see if I, I think a front view will be most useful here. And slide that in just so that it looks like it kind of snaps in place along with the uh, the first piece. Now let's duplicate that to the other side, grab our scale, draw scale 3D and X, and multiply that by negative 1 to mirror it around for the other side. And then back to our front view to see if I can line these up. That looks about the same there. And now that I know the overall width, I could probably take all these and slide them in just a little bit. Just a little bit off that side corner. Now let's add in one more kind of banner, banner monitor display above the top of these. So back to LT Deco one last time where we'll scroll down and let's grab the uh, mesh org wall 10B. Let's grab that and let's drop it in right above the rest of the monitors. And let's grab rotation and swing it around to match up to that wall. And then switch to uh, front view and sort of align it just above the other monitor pieces. So there, that's looking pretty nice. Maybe we could drop it down just one more, just a few more units. Something like that. Now let's take all these meshes and put another copy of them on this kind of uh, angled wall. So let's grab all of those and then we'll drag to duplicate and grab our rotation and swing these around, move them into the wall and it looks like the rotation snapping of five degrees isn't going to quite let us well, maybe. Let me see. That might actually work, as we can't see the other side where it's sticking through. Well, that side isn't snapped all the way. Yeah, just for these meshes, I'm going to go and turn the rotation grid off. Just so I can get these aligned nicely where neither side sticks out of the wall. Something like that. And then let me go and make sure I turn my rotation grid back on because I'll need it for some other things we need to line up. 
And let's see. I need to move that box out of the way because it's kind of blocking that one monitor. I'm going to take this crate here and maybe slide it around next to the other crate. Or maybe even just slide all of the crates back. Grab both of these, kind of bunch them up a little bit, and grab all of them and slide them back. There we go. Now they're nice and out of the way of the monitor panels. So there, I think that's looking kind of nice. So let's see, is there anything else we needed for this room? I think that might be might be it for this side of the room. Really just adding some, uh, some clutter, some decorational stuff, and some uh, machinery to the floor to kind of fill everything in. We've got the monitors on one side, the boxes by the lift, a big machine unit over on one wall, and a big gas tank on the other. So I think that's going to wrap it up for this section. Okay, perfect. All right, thanks a lot.